Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Renee Denise here with another video. Um, if you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, so we're just gonna get right into it. Uh, last week's video, I did a muck, a mukbang, mukbang, um, get to know me. And um, in the process of filming the video, I was like posting pictures and stuff online. And it turned out that I didn't record the look I did and surprisingly my hair on my instagram <clears throat> not a lot of people hit me up about my hair but i figure i'll just put everything in one video since i did get asked about my hair um but a lot of people was interested in the look i had on and it was really simple and everyone asked that i recorded and i did so i figured why not do everything in one video my hair is in a towel um it's freshly washed in condition there's nothing in it And this is what it looks like. This is freshly washed and conditioned. My hair last week was not washed. It wasn't, well, it was conditioned, but it wasn't washed. It was just time for me to wash my hair anyway. So I just figured I'll do everything in one video. Show you guys in one video how I get just the, my everyday look. So I use uh, the coconut co-wash. This is what I use. Um, I don't have much left. I will show you the guys the texture and all that stuff, but I don't have a lot left. So we're not gonna waste that. Um, I don't have no conditioner, so I stole conditioner from my sister, and <clears throat> this is the conditioner I use. We use the same thing, she's natural too, but if I was to shampoo my hair and condition it, this would be the brand that I would use, so I just use the rest of her conditioner, so if you're watching this, yeah, I use the rest of it, but I, I buy it. So after that, uh, what I would do next is towel dry. A lot of people use, use a lot of people like to use a t-shirt, it's your preference, but I use a towel, whatever. Um, and the next step I would use is leave-in conditioner. Um, this is by Carol's daughter. This is a spray leave-in conditioner that I use. And let me just spray this everywhere. Um, would I regular, regularly use this? No, but I don't have no more leave-in conditioner either. <laughs> and this is what I had. So um, I bought this product not too long ago. I just don't like the spray. Like, it's not that it's a bad conditioner, but a bad leave-in conditioner. It's just, I, I don't like this. I don't, I don't like that. So, I regular, I would just, I would like to just, you know, have a cream conditioner. Put it in, you know, do what it do. I just feel like this, I mean, it's a spray, so I would hope it get everywhere, but I just feel like it don't get everywhere. So, that's why I don't really like to use that. So, I'm going to just massage that in. So after that, I would use this Carol's Daughter Combing Cream. It's like a curling cream. Um, I would just put a lot, a lot. So yeah, this is what it looks like. Just gonna put a lot. And we're gonna rub this everywhere. Massage it in. A lot of people don't like I guess how it leaves like your hair white but I mean me personally this is literally what I do every day so like as far as like me going to work sometimes my curls will last like even if I go to sleep I wake up and my hair will look exactly the same I would just have to like you know stretch it out and break it up but I wouldn't have to use any product so I would just not do anything but if it's white when I'm leaving the house by the time I get to work it's pretty much dried up so um that's the curling cream. I'm gonna just use a little bit more just because the middle of my head gets, I don't know, I feel like it's a little, it just needs a little bit more attendance, I guess. So that's the curling cream. And this will be what I have right now. <clears throat> I would take my pick and I'll just pull my hair. I would use the um, wild growth hair oil. Don't matter which bottle. I use this bottle. I use the yellow bottle sometimes. 
this isn't my bottle <laughs> this is my mom's bottle because i ran out <laughs> i add oils inside of this oil this would be my main oil and then i would buy like a castor oil a vitamin e oil a tea tree oil um you know just to help my hair and i figured they all do this not that they all do the same thing but <clears throat> a lot of people put them in in their hair at the same time so everything works together so um but since this isn't mine i'm not going to mix anything in here um i'm gonna just use this for now and i'm gonna just put this in the center of my hair and then i'm just apply this everywhere it has a weird smell but i actually kind of like it i don't know it gives me like that that freshness scent i don't know Then after I do that, I do my hairline. The back of my hair and around my ears. You gotta be quick, cuz. Not. The reason why I'm not pulling the pick through it is because I'm just trying to lift the roots. I want to keep the curls that's there. So it's just like leaving the top part curls. But I wanted to. And then this would be it. So this would be it. And I'll let this dry down. Sometimes I add equal styling gel, but. For the most part, this is my curl pattern. And I'll show you guys again once it dried down a little bit, but this will be it. And then we'll move on to our little face beat. I'm gonna do my brows off camera just so it could be a little bit quicker, but I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. And see how my hair is drying. And that's oil on my forehead, but it's drying down. <clears throat> we'll see the end result later. Okay, so I did my brows. Um, and we're going to get into this look. So believe it or not, <clears throat> I'm sorry. I'm trying to get over a cold and I keep doing that. But believe it or not, I have no foundation right now. Um... I have a whole Fenty foundation that I can't use because I broke it. I broke the pump somehow, so I can't pump the foundation out of the bottle. So the only foundation I do have is that NARS foundation, and I just don't wear it because it's too light. So since, yeah, that's my story. So believe it or not, last week's look for the mukbang was nothing but concealer. Concealer foundation, the pro concealer. So I took my darkest one that I had, which is in shade Mahogany. And this is just about going to all my stuff in this video today is just gone. So I'm gonna take this and just put it over my dark spots. I took my favorite brush, it's a Morphe brush. The stick is somewhere, I would tell y'all the name of it, but this is my favorite brush. So I took it and I just pat this in. And I took whatever's left on the brush and just did my forehead. Okay, after I did that, I did my um, eyeshadow and the 
eyeshadow palette I'm using is the Handy Dandy Crayon Case Box of Crayons Eyeshadow Palette. And I took a blending brush. This is the same brush, it still got the colors on it. I took a blending brush. <clears throat> and I took the colors, I don't wanna bend it back all the way, but I took the colors tan and brown and I mixed them together. And I did the top part of my lid. We apply this we're gonna keep we're gonna hold on to that brush and we're gonna take a flat brush it's the same exact brush I use still got the colors on it and everything but we're gonna take like a more of a flat brush this is a Morphe E14 brush look just a flat I mean, I mean it's not that flat but I consider it flat so I use this brush and I went into the color gold. And I put that on both sides of the brush. Both sides of the brush. And I literally just tapped it on my lid. that's on we're gonna go back into the blending brush and just blend on top of that just in case you have any harsh lines you want to get rid of that my eyes is like super chinky so I feel like I could go up with the gold some more so I'm gonna just take some more and I'm gonna try and move it up just a little bit little bit better and just go back in and do the same thing and that's one eye And then next, the concealer that I use underneath my eyes, I mean underneath my eyebrow, and the color Cozy, same, same stuff I took and applied underneath my eye. And we're just going to blend this out. Put it on my chin and on my forehead. 
the same size. And we'll just pull that out. Next, I'm going to take a flat brush. This is from e.l.f. Yeah, this is from e.l.f. And it's a contouring brush. And I'm going to just take another e.l.f. as a contouring kit. And I'm going to just take a little bit, just so you know the difference. Really quick. I didn't mean to do that. Come on down the nose. Before we fix that, <clears throat> I'm going to take a little bit of setting powder. This is the Sasha Buttercup. Ugh, there you go. Sasha Buttercup setting powder. Take the same beauty blend, blender, sponge, whatever. I'm going to take the tip part now and just get a little bit of that. same brush that I use, the contour and brush, and just fluff this up. Take that same buffing brush that we use, I'm gonna wipe it off a little bit and just dust away all the powder. All right, so next I'm gonna take this is a highlighting brush. This is from e.l.f. 2 and I'm gonna take some blush from Elf 2 and I'm just make my cheeks a little red. I'm gonna keep that same brush, take a little bit of highlight from a highlighting powder, BH Cosmetics. on top of that come up a little bit and voila I just go back in with the same brush to make it look like everything is like I don't know everything like blends in together I don't know I'm scared of lines I don't know if it's me or if it's the camera, but it looks like the sea of mine, but whatever. Use some setting spray. And that's literally what I did. I added lashes, but I just remembered that I took them off in the car last night. So my lashes that I had on is in my boyfriend's car and he's currently at work. So we don't have no lashes. I did find some though. Um, 
I don't know. I don't got nothing, but I just I don't know where these lashes came from, and I don't even know if I should use them. These are the lashes that I found. Oh, I guess let's try it. Um, I'm gonna do them off camera, and I'll be back with the finished look. Okay, so we're back. I've added the lashes. To apply the lashes, I use hair glue. I use the hair glue. And um, it's much easier because the glue that comes with the lashes, you have to let dry. That's 30 seconds. So you literally put it on, put it on. So um, the mascara I use is the Pump It Up Mascara by Maybelline. This is the mascara I use. And now we just want to do a lip and finish and finish the look this eyebrow eyebrow this lip pencil is also from elf yep elf and the color brown use this lip gloss this is from Alyssa Ashley this is also from elf and I just applied the lip gloss and ta this is the exact same look I wore and last week's video so this is how my hair turned out the whiteness the product dried down so you can actually you know see the curls a little bit more and this eyelash looks so weird maybe it's just these lashes I don't know but yeah this is the finished look I hope I made it as easy as possible. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, don't forget to click that subscribe button, drop a comment. I don't know, do something. <laughs> um, and I'll see you guys in next week's video. Peace.